Happy A People Friday, everyone. Um, glad to be here on Friday. I wanted to build on uh, the post I made yesterday, which was sharing with you the presentation I'd done for a virtual networking group that I'm a part of related to handbooks and um, policies. And so that was more directed at, you know, as a company, making sure your yearly compliance is up to date um, and making sure that you have those steps in place to adapt to the new laws and changes that come basically every year. Um, in there, I also talked about culture and how, you know, that employee handbook is a representation of your culture and identity. So it's important that it stays updated to reflect that as well. Um, but I wanted to sort of build on that for A People Friday and say, you know, do your employees understand the policies within the handbook or within your policy policies provided? So, for example, right, um, many companies have an FMLA policy or some sort of leave policy, but employees, they sign off that they acknowledge the handbook, but they don't necessarily know how to qualify for that. And unless it so happens to come up in conversation, right? Um, then they never really understand, or unless it comes up in conversation, they never really have it uh, be something that they can, you know, use effectively. And so if you know that there are things in your organization that are repetitively coming up, or if you feel like it's been a long time since you've updated a policy because it hasn't changed, um, and you want to just give a refresher, get your employees together and ask them what they understand about the current policy and give them tips and um, information on that policy and how you see it in, uh, in being implemented within your organization or how you see it already implemented in the organization. And then allow them to ask questions. Give them an opportunity where they feel uh, like they can have a safe place to ask questions regarding that policy. Um, and so really, you know, what that does is it opens up the lines of communication. It shows that you are, that you value them as an employee because you want them to know how to succeed in the environment that you've established. And so on a People Friday, take a look at your policies. What do you have that you feel is no longer part of your identity that you could remove, adjust, um, or change? Um, what do your employees think about your handbook? Ask them, right? Um, do they feel like it's too policy heavy? Do they feel like those policies or the culture identified don't match your organization? Have conversations about your handbook. Even ask questions like, are some of these policies confusing? Is there anything that doesn't make sense to you? And make sure that you equip them with the tools to be successful. Um, you don't want to have it be a situation where an employee gets a disciplinary action for something in the policy that maybe they signed five years ago that has they've never seen in five years. And it's hard to remember what you signed five years ago saying is your handbook. And of course, they can go back and look at it, but they're not going to do that before they make any action at all. Um, so I just encourage you to have those conversations, understand how your handbook is handbook or policies are working for your employees or with your employees to create the type of culture and environment that you're trying to promote. And if they're not, um, you can certainly call me and I can help you at APLLC. Um, you can visit our website for our contact information and or you can start to have more open conversations with your employees and talk about how they see the culture and the types of policies that should be implemented from their perspective. Wishing you all the best on this A People Friday and good luck deploying those initiatives around employee policies and handbooks. Have a great weekend.